What's going on, G fans? The poster 64 here with an awesome figure to take a look at. Guys, today we are taking a look at the SH Monster Arts Biolante Special Color Version. I got this guy in just a couple of days ago, pre ordered it off of EK Night Media. Super awesome. I definitely recommend checking them out if you're looking for anything. Um, we took a look at the box kind of in the unboxing a little bit, but um, we'll take another quick look at it here. This is what I opened the box up to. This is awesome black text. Super clean, very cool. Here's the back for you. Couple of different poses. Bottom just has another pose. And then the side kind of looks like the front. Um, but so we'll get the box out of here and we'll bring in the reason everybody came, the SH Monster Arts guys, Biolante, special color version. So this is the second installment of the Biolante character from SH Monster Arts. I did miss out on the first one. So um, I do know there's plenty of pictures and stuff comparing the two, uh, but I'm really psyched to have this guy. Just jump in really quick, take a couple looks at, his, at the detail on this guy. So just in terms of the, the his little extra plant grabbers, awesome detail put into this guy. Tons of articulation along the arms that we'll take a little better look at later. Really cool centerpiece here. Even the bottom, I love the coloring, how it gets darker and messier towards the bottom. A couple extra of these guys. And then guys, let's take a look at the face right here. Super crocodilian, super awesome. I love these big tusks here. Love all the teeth we have in here. A lot of fun detail. The eyes look really cool. Pretty menacing looking guy. Definitely a big kaiju. The, uh, the details along the spine are awesome. Take a look at those. And move them over to the back. I pulled one of the arms off so we can get a better angle. And I even love these little spines he's got along the back. Just a ton of awesome detail put into this figure, guys. Well worth the price point. Let me snap this arm back on and we take a look at articulation. Alrighty, guys, we're back. Snapped his arm back into place. Let's take a look at articulation on this guy. So obviously these tentacles um, here have tons of articulation. There's a bunch of articulated points along the whole figure. So they snap in here on the bottom. Um, and these joints were actually really horrible to get in. And you're pushing from this side. And there's all these really sharp spikes here. So it actually hurts your hand quite a bit to put the spikes in. Um, so there is a rotation here. And he does move at the connecting point. So that's this joint here, and this is the part you're snapping in right here. So that does have its articulation as well. And then we can look at this piece it is articulated. Not a ton of articulation on some of these, but enough articulation that you get a ton of posability. So then we have another point here, point here, you get full range of motion on almost all these points. Point here, 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 another one here, another one here, and then the head actually moves. 360. Of course, you get articulation out of these mouths. They're a little hard to pry open because their teeth actually lock together really well. Get some pretty good articulation out of uh, out of the teeth though opening. So pretty much the same amount of articulation on all these things, on all four of the arms, which allows for a ton of awesome posability. And in terms of posability of the body of Biolante, we don't have a ton. Mouth obviously moves. Can't open it quite as wide as you want it. This is about as far as it'll comfortably open without forcing it too much more. I wish you could really open it wide to get that awesome shot of, of him trying to devour Godzilla's head that you see in the classic clip from the movie. Um, but then we do get more articulation. You can see these joints along the back of the spine. So he can get some upward rise which is good, good for posability. And this piece here actually slides up so you can get him looking good kind of at a more upward angle and then you can slide it back down to have him bend more over and look be looking down so there's some fun articulation not too much guys side to side you can get a little bit out of it but of course this piece doesn't really move with you so you're looking kind of you're kind of looking awkward here because those joints aren't lining up too too uh, too much so you have to you have to kind of be careful with how lining that up but definitely some fun posability out of this guy Definitely enjoyed posing him around the shelf, trying to figure out what made him look best. 
I like the closed mouths just because I really love these teeth, guys. These are awesome. Looks super crocodilian, and I just love it. Guys, the last thing I want to take a look at on the figure itself is this really cool chamber here. So obviously that's Biolante's kind of core. And let me come over here and, and check this out. If we look at the bottom, it actually has an on and off switch with two settings of this. Um, so he, there's kind of an orange glow, and we'll do a better shot of these at the end with the lights down. So he's got the orange glow, then you turn it all the way to the left, and he's got like a more red glow, which really cuts through what looks awesome, especially with these with the entanglement here in front. So we'll take a better look at that with the lights off at the end of the video, so stick around, guys. Okay, guys, I busted out the ruler real quick, take a quick look at this guy's height sizes. So if you put the ruler right up against him in this pose... He's sitting, of course I gotta sit down. He sits right about, this is about, this is the eight inch mark. So he's right under the eight. But of course you can, you know, if you lift his head, he can well exceed the eight and almost hit the nine. And as you can see, I guess you can't even see because it's too, the camera's too close in. But if we back up a little bit, you can see that top tent, that top uh, arm of his can reach over a foot long when fully extended. So definitely not a small figure here. Width-wise, he measures over a foot with these with his with his um, arms how they are now. So a very big figure. You you can have a you know over a foot wide, over a foot high, and then in terms of depth for your shelf, you know he's taking up a solid eight, eight or nine inches depth-wise right now too. Obviously, you could probably compress or elongate him to your desire, but uh, in the current posability I have right now, I'd probably move his arms in a little bit more for the shelf. But um, definitely a big figure. And that's something else I love about this guy is if you notice when I'm rotating these arms, you can get these, these heads at any angle you want. Super cool for posability and grabbing. If you're trying to pose them with a Godzilla, you can have them grabbing different parts. Just super posable, and I love it. Um, and speaking of posing with, with other guys, let's go ahead and throw them up next to a couple of other figures. So we'll kind of scoot them over here to the side, make way. I just I brought a couple of my extra Biolantes just to show you. This is the Bandai 1992 Biolante, a pretty big figure, not overly articulate, um, but a larger one for the Bandai size too. Um, this Bandai guy scales kind of well with, eh, not too well with the sixes even. But so he's this guy's obviously the SH Monster is definitely bigger than this Bandai, and he's definitely bigger than the reissued 2019 um, Bandai Japan Biolante. Very, very small very different figure here. Um, so he towers over those guys, obviously. Let's bust him out with some guys who he's actually supposed to be scaling with. Just right off the shelf, I grabbed the 2001 uh, Spitfire SH Monster. It's Godzilla. As you can see, pretty good scaling. Um, I could go for Biolante to be a touch bigger, and obviously I could go for his mouth being able to open wider so he can re reenact that shot where he's going for the head um, on Godzilla there. But not a horrible scaling. I definitely like it. I don't mind it for posability. And like I said, with these tentacles, you can get them grabbing anywhere. They're just so versatile. You can move them in, have them grab at any angle, which is really awesome. I love that posability part of this figure. I'm going to remove this arm here, apparently. Um, get it out of the way for scaling. Oh, I grabbed two more off the shelf. This is the 1992 Godzilla uh, from Banna Japan. Just to throw another one up there so you can get a real sense of how he scales with your six inches from Bandai Japan. And then one more I grabbed, had to grab it, the bile-covered NECA Godzilla from the matchup with Biolante. Definitely this Godzilla's a little bit on the big side. Um, doesn't match up quite perfectly, of course. Uh, definitely could go for him probably being almost an inch shorter. Um, but not a horrible, horrible scaling. It'd be very hard and way more expensive to get a Biolante that scales to these, these perfect six inch figures. So definitely not too many complaints on the scaling of this figure. Guys, I definitely love this Biolante. Fully would recommend it. Anybody interested? Um, I know I, I purchased mine from EK Night Media, but I know Big Bad Toy Store has them. And you can probably find resales on Amazon and eBay for around $260 to $300 probably. Definitely an awesome figure. Love to have it up on the shelf. Makes the uh, SH Monster Arts collection look way more menacing and huge. I love it, guys. Thank you so much for checking this video out, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll have them coming out every week. 
for the Godzilla figure reviews. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks. We'll see you later. Guys, as promised, we're back here at the end. Got the lights turned down. We're going to check out the two different settings of the lights you can put on this Biolante. So again, it just switches on the bottom. Put it over for one setting. And you get this cool jack-o'-lantern glow. It looks really cool. Cuts through awesome. Totally reminds me of a jack-o'-lantern, as I said. Pretty awesome setting. And then we do have one more setting. Just flip the switch to the other side. And you get this cool, awesome, just burning red. Looks really cool. Totally cuts through. It looks really good. Definitely brightens up the shelves a little bit when you have it on. But there's the two settings of the lights. Does come with batteries included in the figure. Thanks for staying tuned, guys. We'll see you next time.